A hearty good morning to all. From a new horizon book, turn page number 63. In our page number 63, we have an Indian folktale, The Cruel Crane Outwitted. This story is set in a forest. A crane comes across a pond full of fish. What happens later? We would come to know through this story, okay? So, before originating the story, let us have the identity of the characters. This story has three characters. First, a cunning crane. Second, some innocent fishes. And third, a clever crab. Now, let's start the story. Welcome back to the story, The Cruel Crane Outwitted. Once upon a time, a crane was living near a pond. He was very cunning. As the days passed, the crane was getting old. So, he was worried of his life. Like, how will he arrange food for himself? So, one day he made a plan. He went to the pond and told the fish that soon this pond will have no water due to drought and then all the fishes and water animals will die. The fish got very scared. She informed her other friends about the danger and then all the fishes and the crab went to the crane for some solution. The crane was exactly waiting for this moment. Oh dear fishes, don't worry, by the time I am here. You will not have any problem. I know a nearby lake which is full of water. I will take all of you one by one to the new lake. Like this, the crane proposed to the fishes. All the fishes agreed to the crane's idea, okay? Then next day, the crane took one fish in his beak and flew away. The cruel crane had his own plan. He smashed the fish on the rock and ate it. The crane was happy with his plan as now he got an easy solution for his food problem. Later, the crane returned to the pond and told all the fishes that the first fish is very happy in the new lake. All the fishes and the other animals believed the cruel crane. Now, every day, crane was taking one fish from the pond and consuming it on his way. When all the fishes were over, it was the crab's turn. The crab sat on the crane's back and the crane flew away. From the height, the crab did not see any lake. Instead, he saw a rock full of bones and skeleton of fishes. The crab realized that the crane was telling lie to everyone. He sensed the danger, so he pinches hard on the crane's neck. The crane apologized to the crab, but the crab was very clever. What did he do? He crushed the crane's neck with his claws and entered the water. Thank you.